In his organizational leadership classes, Jeff was constantly told that he needed to cite his sources. At first, he wasn't sure why his professors cared so much about where he got his information. However, soon he realized that each source he used took time and effort to create. Providing citations was a way of showing respect to the creator and showing that he understands that information has value. Citing sources also helped give his work credibility by demonstrating to his professors that he had carefully researched his topic and that he could back up what he was saying with evidence. Plus, if he didn't cite his sources, he would be giving an inaccurate representation of his own work. Even after he understood why he needed to cite sources, Jeff still found the citation process frustrating and confusing. However, he spoke with a librarian who explained that there are many different resources available to make the citation process a little less challenging. The librarian explained that many databases available through Steely Library have a built-in citation feature. If you use the article search on the library's website, you can find citations for any of the sources by clicking on the source title, then using the citation tool on the right-hand side. Most other databases have a similar citation feature. Google Scholar also provides citations for sources. The librarian told Jeff he could try a free citation generator, such as BibMe or Citation Machine. She explained that when using these tools, it is very important that you correctly determine the type of source you are trying to cite before entering the citation information, since you can't cite a journal article the same way you would a book or a website. For a more advanced option, Jeff could try a free citation management tool, such as Zotero or EndNote Basic. Both tools would allow Jeff to easily save and organize the citation information for his sources. In addition, both tools work directly with Word, so that Jeff would be able to create in-text citations and bibliographies while he typed. Librarian cautioned that the citations and bibliographies created by citation tools are not always perfect, and he might need to make additional changes to ensure the citations are correct. She emphasized that it was his responsibility to check all citations for accuracy before he submitted his work. To be sure, he could check his citations against the sample citations provided in the published citation guide for his selected format, or he could use a website such as the OWL at Purdue.